Hey, and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you the best way to pack your boards for traveling, whether that be by plane, boat, or another form of transport. There's nothing worse than arriving at your surf destination and to surf and realizing that you can't because your boards are broken or dinged. With this method, I have never had any issues with my boards and I've done a lot of traveling over the past couple of years. It's simple, quick, and all you need are a few things. You will need a board, or two, or basically as many as you want in your board bag. Make sure you have taken your fins out of your boards. Some bubble wrap, enough to cover the bottom and top of your board. Your clothes, well, I always put my clothes in my board bag for extra cushioning and to save me from having to pay for another bag. A towel. Something else you can use is a pool noodle. I am not using them in this video as I don't have any on me, but I used them before and they worked a treat. All you need to do is split them down the middle and put them over the rails and tail of your board. And finally, a good quality board bag. I am using a community branded double board bag. Um, I would highly recommend this board bag because it's pretty sturdy but it's also lightweight. Make sure you are using a board bag that fits your boards really nice and snug. My boards are 5'7 and I think this board bag fits about 5'8 or 5'9. To begin, take out any dividers so that you have a nice flat bottom of your bag. Get a large piece of bubble wrap and place it on the bottom. It helps if it is large enough to kind of roll up the sides of the bag to protect the rails of your first board. Next, get your first board. I usually put my bigger or more sturdier board in first, one that is more heavily glassed as the bottom of your board bag can be a little vulnerable. Try and use the excess bubble wrap to kind of wrap around the rails as much as you can. Place your divider on the top of your first board. If you don't have a divider, you can just use a towel. Try and pull it down so that you can kind of fold over the tail end of the divider a little bit. Next, bring in your second board. If you are doing this with more than two boards, you simply just repeat this process. Next, get any excess bubble wrap you may have and place it on the top. This is to protect the deck of the board. Often baggage handlers place your board upside down on random objects, so it helps to put some padding on the top, especially if this is your more fragile board. This is the part where you really want to pay attention. So grab any clothes you may have or wetsuits or anything basically that you can use to pad and put them around the nose and the tail of your board. This is really important as these points of the board are exposed and can crack quite easily. Try and be thorough with your wrapping and folding so that they don't just fall off as soon as you zip up your bag. The nose and the tail is probably the best place in which you could use your towel. Use the last of your clothes or wetsuits or any other padding you have now on the rails, unless you have already used pool noodles to cover them. Now get any fins or leg ropes and place them in a separate compartment of the board bag. Try not to leave your leg rope floating around in the bag as this can crease into your board and leave a dent. If your bag has straps, pull them tight over your boards to stop them from sliding around and to keep them as a solid package. Now zip up your board bag and away you go. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and comment below where you are traveling to. For more tips and advice, check out my website, www.thesurfbox.net. 